Thad, uh, let me let me just set the stage here for you. Set it. Okay. Makugas went on vacation to Myrtle Beach. Uh, I was six years old. Yeah. Okay, 19, whatever. And there's a lot of mini golf courses in Myrtle Beach. Yeah. And we went to at least two a day, my grandfather and I. Played so much mini golf for seven straight days, 36 holes at least of mini golf a day. Because it was, it was, I just didn't feel like going to the beach. It was too hot. The rest of the family went to the beach. My pap and I went and played mini golf. And that started my love for mini golf. Now, back in the day on television, you could find mini golf on TV sometimes. And ESPN would have it or like an ABC Wide World of Sports. And it was always from the Augusta, in Augusta, Georgia, where the Masters is, will be staged next week. Uh, the It's a fun for all putt putt or putt putt something national championship, right? And they used to air them. And if you go on YouTube right now, you can watch them. Starting in like 86 through 94, <laughs> you can watch these guys. And they are lights out, obviously, at putt-putt. Yeah. Now, flash forward to 2019, the year of our Lord, 2019. Mm-hmm. And NBA MVP and three-time world champion, Steph Curry, is producing a mini golf competition show on ABC called... Holy moly. Yes. Yes. What a great title. Unbelievable. I wanted to be in that room Ugh. when they brought it in. They're like, guys, we got a pitch for you. Yeah. I don't think they said anything else in the room. No. They just wrote on a board, holy moly. It's like when the new Mini substitute golf. teacher comes in and just writes like Mr. Shapiro. And you're like, that's him. <laughs> yeah. Right. Holy moly. You're doing it. You're holy making this happen. Holy moly. Yeah. Uh, because that's been said more times on a mini golf course than you can imagine, uh, whether a gorilla comes in and steals your golf ball or you can't, you got to get through a windmill. Holy moly, it worked. (laughs) Okay. Now, as you read the description for this, it kind of sounds like guts meets double dare meets mini golf. Yeah. Well, and I was also getting a lot of wipeout vibes. Wipeout. Because I think it's, I think they're going to play into the humor because Rob Riggle is going to be one of the, (laughs) one of the play by play announcers. Mm -hmm. And, uh, along with Joe Tessitore, who's a, who's a legend Uh, of broadcasting. Yes. So I feel like I'm Joe Tessitore and welcome. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it sounds like it's going to be ridiculous. I'm so excited. And they're going to put together a, a crazy course that is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger as people are going to have to like if you thought the if you thought the one scene in Happy Gilmore <laughs> was a ridiculous a ridiculous mini golf outfit wait till you see th- what what they're be, they're going to uh build I, Ooh, they're they're producing it here in California I know maybe we sh- we, maybe we can try, try it go. out we, oh I was, we should try to be a True. contestant ooh man but yeah i i would just go watch it that is incredible uh the yeah they're going to Guts like they are going to have uh, the p- finalists are going to take on the daunting Mount Holy Moly mm-hmm. in a three way contest, and one winner each episode will take home twenty five thousand dollars. Incredible, along with a golden putter trophy. Yes, and the famed Holy Moly plaid jacket. I mean, you got to have plaid a, blazer. You got to have the blazer. Mm-hmm. And if there's somebody that has a passion for plaid blazers in this room, it's definitely me and or you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't we matter. Both love them we'll, uh, we'll, equally. We'll we'll equally take that. Uh, yeah, this. I mean, I don't watch a lot of like the. The, the game show competition stuff here and there. Okay, I don't either. But, but. <laughs> one, this gets me. Yeah. Two, you know what else gets me? Friggin' Wipeout was the best. Wipeout is still funny. Awesome. They they awesome. they used to film. So when I worked, what I, I worked on a uh, a now defunct reality series. Mm-hmm. Uh, we filmed in uh, up in up in the mountains. And we were on the same ranch as the Wipeout team. So we, when we went through security, we'd go left to our set. Mm-hmm. And then to the right, you could kind of see off in the distance the ridiculous Wipeout set that's just kind of like off in the hills. Yes. Uh, it all got destroyed fr- uh, from a wildfire like two years no ago. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely destroyed. But uh, the uh, I think some of the set might have been already moved off and okay. they were able to salvage some stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was it, the awesome. set's insane. And, yeah. and the show was really funny. I, and this sounds fantastic. I always talk about wanting to be in the pitch rooms for certain things, like when they pitch new food items at Taco Bell or when they pitch new commercials for Geico, right? Anything is anything is possible, right? Yes. I imagine Holy Moly is the same way. They're like, what if the putter is 20 feet high and they have to use themselves in a foam ball and push themselves through oh. the thing? Do you know what I mean? Like yes. It just goes insane. We're at the point where they're like, I don't know. Let's check budget. It's not a no. Yeah. Let's, let's just check budget and see if we can make it happen. What? Ah, dream job. Just dream job. Yeah, it's like a giant mousetrap game. Yes, but golf. But golf.